watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. We're going to be taking a look at the Stonework series from Rough Rider today. We've got the canoe pattern here and this is the QR code with cancer warning on the box. A little blurb we're going to read in a minute. Here's the model number RR909 and then this box has some info on the Rough Riders from times past. But the Stonework series is this. It says every knife in the Rough Rider Stoneworks series is individually fitted with the finest natural materials, and no two are ever alike. Each piece is hand cut and hand inlaid to achieve the best selection for each individual knife. Anything less just wouldn't be a Rough Rider. Okay, so you just get this plain box and a little bag inside. Nothing special here. Again, model numbers RR909, and we're looking at the canoe. Right, we'll just leave that up there about that. So here's the canoe pattern in the Stonework series from Rough Rider. And you can see it's a symmetrical design. You've got the two riz bolsters with the little bump on either end, and it resembles a canoe. That is why the canoe pattern is called what it is. But what that feature does is hide the elbow of the tang on both sides and the point at the front to provide a nice smooth uh, top profile there so you don't get anything stuck um, as you're trying to put it in your pocket or you know scrape your fingers as you're using the knife. So it's a canoe pattern is kind of a interesting design in that way because it seems like it's uh, one of those knives that was more well thought out than many of its predecessors. But you get a pin blade and a spear point blade. This main spear point blade has a little bell boarding on it. You can see here. And just has stoneworks with the X spelling. You get the nice grind on that. It gets a little thin as you get closer to the tang. And that plunge line, plunge grind is right up against where you might want to put a sharpening choil, so you might want to add that if you're going to use this long term. This is a 440A stainless steel blade. Here's a nice look at the blade edge on the other side. It gets a little thin at the tip on this one. And there you go. It's 440A razor sharp and there's your model number and China and then you get the nice tang stamp on this side with the RR reverse R there you go let's get a look at it no half stops on these but they have a decent pull I'd say about a six on this main blade which is pretty good for canoe pattern which tends to be a little weaker than some of the other patterns uh, with the pull, but you get that nice sharp, uh, well not nice sharp, there's a nice little cutout here, natural cutout with the bolster and the blade, the secondary blade makes a nice little finger choil there, you can grip up on it, it's comfortable, and the hand it's going to come off a little bit on that last finger, so it's more of a three finger knife, not a full size knife by any means. There's a good look at your spear point blade. And we got a measurement here of right about two and a half inches up to the tang. And then the cutting edge is about two and a quarter. Now let's take a look at your secondary blade, which is a pin blade. And like the main blade, it has a match strike pull, mirror finish. Get the reverse R tang stamp on it. Take a close look at the grind on that blade. A little wide into the middle here. You can see it gets a little wider in the middle. You are not going to expect some super great grinds on Rough Rider knives. That's just kind of how they come. But at least it's pretty consistent on both sides. Uh, and there's no tank stamp there on that side and none on this side. Now if we take a look at the bolsters, which are nickel silver, and you have sort of scalloping here and also a threaded design which is 
quite unique. You don't have uh, any other bolsters like that in the Rough Rider line, except for in this series, as far as I'm aware. And then that's followed up with some red synthetic. Now, I know the box said all natural materials. Maybe it is a natural uh, red, but it's called red synthetic every place I've ever seen this material used before. So I'm going to assume it's the same thing. And this would not be real tur turquoise. This is a synthetic blue as well. But I do believe the mother of pearl is uh, genuine. And you do have imitation abalone there, but it looks really nice so whatever imitation abalone they use is uh, is pretty high quality you can see the iridescence in it as you move it around in the light and it really picks up a lot of movement side to side and up to down and you get these little nickel silver uh, spacers between the inlays all of this is really smooth on the transitions so that feels nice uh, on the bottom you've got brass springs, or excuse me, brass liners on either side of the two stainless springs. You don't have a middle uh, spacer, just the two outside liners, so it makes for a pretty narrow knife. We can measure that. It's pretty easy to manage in the pocket. I think at the widest point here we are about 0.465 inches so not even half an inch. Pretty narrow knife, pretty comfortable. Overall length of it, we've got three and a half inches and in that pin blade it measures two inches and then you've got a cutting edge of one and three quarter inches. The main blade Two and a half inches full length and about two and a quarter with the cutting edge. So the secondary blade has a pull of about six and a half. Again, no half stops on these. So has a good nice walk and talk on it. Maybe some minor gapping here at the bottom, but it's pretty minor. It's pretty well made, pretty tight nothing to squawk about but there you have it guys canoe pattern and this is their standard size three and a half inches model number again is RR909 you can scan that QR code if you want to go visit the website which I don't think has been updated in several years but you're welcome to look at the old stuff that's on the website I uh, wish they would do something more about that. But my overall thoughts on this was uh, kind of along the fence about whether to get it or not. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but it does have a crack in the blade here. Um, not that I was trying to hide that. It's just that I know that that's going to be a pretty rare situation. And I'm going to do what I can to get a replacement uh, on this knife. But... Uh, I wouldn't really hold that against Rough Rider. That's extremely rare situation. Uh, got a little like eight eighth inch crack at the top of the tang there. I don't know if you can see that right there. Then on the other side, you can see it come through. So I don't know if this uh, was just something at the factory. That, I don't know. It was a little strange. But I'm not going to hold it against them. I've gotten enough Rough Riders and canoes, and I know that they uh, they normally do not come like that. So I'm going to see what I can do to get a replacement for it. But I just want to point that out uh, in case you might have the same thing. I've been wrong about you know some of the flaws before where they've been re repeated, but uh, I don't think that's going to be the case with this one. So I just mention it there to let you guys know for full transparency. But uh, yeah, I, I'll still replace this knife. I'm happy with it otherwise. And I think that was just a fluke, more or less. Uh, you got... Uh, the more I handle this knife, it's just it's like the more I start to enjoy it. Um, the smoothness of it, you know, the, everything's just put together really well. And those bolsters are just kind of different. So, uh, 
sort of a patriotic design a little bit red white and blue so if you're kind of more into that sort of thing kind of meets that little fancy for you uh, one thing you can do away with though is that blade edge I just don't think you need it I mean it just detracts from that beautiful little spear point blade if anything but there you go guys Stonework series model number RR909 canoe from Rough Rider. Hope you enjoyed the view review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Be made aware of videos when they drop. If you like this video, please hit the like button. That always helps the algorithm and helps to get more views and spread the word about the channel. So I would appreciate that if you guys could just quickly hit the old thumbs up if you enjoy the video. I uh, appreciate all you guys watching today. Hope you're having a a great weekend and hope that you take care.